My name is Alana Marklinger and I am the Grade 9 Learning Leader at Samuel W. Shaw and I teach Grade 9 Math and Science as well as Outdoor Education and I have been at that school um, the second year it opened when Grade 9s went there and I've been going to been teacher in charge of River Watch for probably six years and I've gone on the trip probably eight or nine times. My main reason is that it's authentic, hands-on learning experience that includes all students and it um, promotes, they're actively engaged and it pro promotes um, the actual learning and participating in learning about an important issue as opposed to reading about it. My favorite aspect of it is to see the students engaged and to see their awareness of uh, not just the river in general, but also how water is treated in Calgary, and their um, they and their appreciation and and respect and be, the, their willingness to um, be an active citizen in that process, and they they do they they jump in and they they find it. It's simple as they they tell me they'll never drop another Slurpee on the ground because they know when it rains, that Slurpee will end up in the Bow River. I think it um, connects them as citizens to our city, and I think it, um, it changes their perception. It increases their awareness, and it um, makes them knowledgeable citizens, like I said, and, and um, when they're aware, they want to be stewards of their own environment. And they uh, understand what goes into um, protecting and caring for our water and what it means to have healthy water. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's in one day, it transforms their view and they remember it. They remember it for ever. They leave grade nine and it's one of their highlights of their year. And I think it's something that they take with them into high school and into their life. I'm a big promoter of being engaged citizens and I think ultimately um, we need to capitalize on our youth. I think in this day and age we need to create entrepreneurial spirits who are invested in their communities and without exposing them to the community and what's happening, how are we going to expect that from them? So we need to bring them out into the community and connect them with people working in the community and they need to see um, what's happening and in the future that's what will make them come up with the creative solutions to some of the problems that um, we may be experiencing or, or, or see now and I think ultimately um, they are our community and that's why they need to be I think all students should go on this program uh, absolutely and I think it would be nice if there's more of them. Our school has a lot of different learning needs and one of our programs is PLP and their PACE learning program. So these are students who are um, struggle academically, they're in a separate program but we inter they integrate into classroom where possible and I've always been a big promoter that they integrate into the sciences in particular because there is, they may not necessarily grasp all the content but they can be part of the performing and recording and they can see what scientists do and so when I see them on the program, um, there was a boy and he actually got to be what he called a scientist and do tests and um, that stood out to me and he was forever engaged in the program and it, that happened this year and ever since that he's been um, a strong nurturer of the environment and so he started to say oh I'm going to start to grow things so now he grows well, he's into hot pepper plants and he's on the autistic spectrum but it was all triggered by the River Watch program he went on in, in the fall because he all of a sudden saw that this connection with nature and that he can make a difference. So he tells me all the things that he does now to um, make sure that he doesn't let water run and he doesn't dump things down the sink. And now he's growing plants and he sends me pictures and updates all the data. So for him it was about the experience of being a scientist and collecting data. Um, that, was a, that was for me a, a, a a huge um, example. I also see kids who, you know, we have some students who are, I call them unique and lovelies, and they can be struggle and they go to the max. And um, I mentioned the Slurpee one, but they now make a conscious effort not to drop their drinks on the on the ground because we live in um, 
Shaughnessy and Evergreen, and it says on there, now they understand that the water goes directly into, into the Bow River. And so just making those conscious choices, I think, is, is one of the areas that um, affects me or impacted me the most. So Daniel, yes, he grows pepper plants. He sends me all his data on the plants growing, right? And yeah, and it was all because he got to do a, perform an actual science test that he felt would was helping the community. So, you know, he and that's his yeah. So that was neat. He still does it, yeah. Once a week, sends me his updates. <laughs>there is no better program and it is unfortunate and it, because of donors we need money we need money and i and i i know i um i'm often writing grants and trying to make things happen in my own school and so i understand the uphill battle that it can be and i think that um we are in a very innovative province i think there is we have a lot of room to capitalize on our youth and i think by exposing and providing funds for students to be exposed, even to the different careers. Things are not like they were when I went to school. You know, I remember thinking, am I gonna be a nurse? Are you gonna be a doctor? Are you gonna be a teacher now? I mean, they will even say you'll be in jobs that aren't even created yet. And so to have students out there in the field being exposed to what's actually happening, happening is going to, you know, create this innovative, they'll be part of the innovation of the solutions. And so I think that donors, we need the money to supplement these programs so that we can expose students as much as we can to continue our growth because this province is very um, cutting edge, I think, in many ways.